I'm pretty sure it was discovered by Martin Klaproth. Where can you find this element, Carl? It's found in Australia, Canada, and Kazakhstan. I didn't mean the region, I meant specific things. It's found in lots of rocks. Carl, are there any birth defects for exposure? Oh, that was a cake. I appear to be pregnant with the baby girl. How do you know it's a girl, Carl? Uranium exposure increases the chances of having a girl. That's interesting. Now, what does this element look like, Carl? It's a silvery white metal. That's not very specific, Carl. It's also heavy, but softer than steel. Is it flammable? Does it react? In that case, I should probably mention that it's naturally radioactive. What, what? Well, of course, the most common isotopes are not stable. I want some cold hard facts, benefits, and hazards. Ah, uh, why don't I tell you later? Where do you think we should go, Carl? I think we should go on a cruise. Uh, I'm not sure what you're referring to. Forgot about all the basic stuff, Carl. The symbol is U, and the atomic number is 92. Carl, you forgot to include what the element's mass was. Around 238. Isn't there usually a decimal in there? 238.0289. That's great, but, uh, back to the hazards. It causes lung cancer and birth defects. Uh, Carl, I think we should go back to the house. Carl, you haven't told me about the benefits. There are plenty of those. Just tell me about some of the benefits, Carl. It's used in nuclear power and some x-ray production. I know there's something else, Carl. <laughs> Carl! Happy birthday! Why didn't you tell me it was used in nuclear explosions? It never came across my mind. That's too important to forget, Carl. What's that? My explanation of uranium is finally ending. Na na na!